Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, there was an unbelievable miracle that happened down in Florida. Uh, a family, their home caught on fire, burnt, burnt this home up, destroyed it, destroyed everything in the home except one thing, Rachel's Bible. Are you serious? It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, firefighters recovered it. It's an incredible uh, scene there, folks, to be quite honest with you. The, uh, you know, listen, God works in mysterious ways. At least that's what the Glen County family believes after they lost everything in the fire except the Holy Bible. The fire, uh, a family friend there, Stephanie Levy, said that Rachel was living at the residence with her aunt and uncle, Carol and Phil, uh, while she was attending college. According to Levy, the aunt woke up to a loud noise that day. When she went to check it out, she found the back porch engulfed in flames. What? The house was a total loss, and fortunately no one was injured, but it did claim the lives of one dog and two cats. And a little kitten. So that's unfortunate. Uh, it was also also destroyed all of their belongings except for Rachel's Bible, a gift from her mother when she graduated from high school. The firefighters recovered it. Levy said it was in her room. He showed it to her. She was amazed. She was very moved by that. I've seen the picture of the Bible. It's in, it's just unbelievable. Against the odds, the Bible was sitting on Rachel's dresser, surrounded by other books that were destroyed and turned to ashes. But the Bible, even though the outside of it was charred, but uh, on the inside, it remained untouched. <laughs> Are you serious? It was a little bit wet from the water, of course, from the fireman on the outside and charred. But the inside, the pages of the inside of this Bible were untouched. An unbelievable situation. Matter of fact, the Bible says in Job chapter 1, verse 21 and 22, it says, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. And that was what Rachel was quoting when they told her her Bible had survived. Now, the Bible also says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8, The grass withereth and the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Uh, there's a scripture that Jesus said in the New Testament when he said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word abideth forever. And even Jesus said these words, Man, your fathers did eat bread in the wilderness and they died, but if any man uh, eats of my bread eats of the bread and drinks of my blood shall never die, okay? What well, Jesus is referring to himself, and he was the word, because the Bible says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God, the same as the beginning with God. Without God, nothing was made that was made. The word of the Lord is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, okay? It's the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing the word of the Lord. So how many times does this happen? We've heard from a lot of people. We've just seen the stories in the media, which, of course, this never makes mainstream, lamestream, fake news media. This is too truthful. This is too much power. Can't share that a whole house burned down and every book around burns to ashes, but the Bible's still intact. And this has happened time and time and time again because the word of God is true. And God shows the miracle. We've seen that one the miracle working man. Something is going to happen tonight. Don't miss tonight's live broadcast. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. I got a word from the Lord. I was praying this morning. The Lord said, something's going to happen. And I felt good about it. Now, exactly what that means, I don't know. But I think something's good is going to happen. I think something big is going to happen. And it may be something apocalyptic in the world. It may be something big in your life. There may be a miracle coming your way, a divine healing, a financial breakthrough, a family member born again, a marriage recovered. I don't know what the situation is, but I'll say this, something big is going to happen. Well, if you ask these folks, something big did happen. They might have lost everything materially, but they did not lose their faith in the word of God. And that means 
The Lord will restore everything the devil has stolen. God's going to give it back and more. I'll see you tonight, Sunday Night Live, 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it at my website at www.paulbigbyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbigbyprophecy.com. Don't miss tonight. Are you serious? Something is going to happen.